my John Deere X530 and I have it taken kind of apart you can see and the purpose of this video is to show you that I'm going to mount that 42 inch hydraulic tiller to the tractor um, but I decided what I probably should do is show you the hitch uh, you have to take the there's the there's the seat and the cover for the back here um, you have to take that off in order to install the hitch that lifts the tiller from the hydraulics and the first thing you see is that pipe right there uh, that fits in, inside the rear hitch and then you mount it with the bolts and those bushings on each side and then that allows this here to move back and forth so when you use the hydraulics to lower it these come back and when you raise it they go forward and so you can see it's in the raised position in addition to this there's a bar here that you install and this bar goes up to the front of the tractor here uh, it gets mounted in here so here's the cylinder the hydraulic cylinder and uh, to raise it it goes out and to lower it the ram goes in and doing so it moves that bar back and forth uh, there's a new you had to remove the old spacer and and put in a new spacer to uh, make up for the thickness of the bar and I think uh, let's see where is it all right there it is that's the old spacer so that came from the factory and I had to take that out and put a new a new spacer in there and so that's how it works taking off the seat is relatively easy there's just a couple of bolts the foot pedals had to come off um, the other thing I was going to show you I thought was interesting was to talk about here is the deck adjustment knob at just how f far the deck goes up and down and let me just show you uh, let me see here uh, get this you know this is that deck adjustment knob and this goes on here like that and the reason why I find it interesting is I was wondering how that influences the how deep how low the deck will go and it's this 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 is the rocker right here the rocker so you can see here that this this is an opening here so that this when you lower it it'll lower it all the way it can because there's nothing to stop it it'll stop here but if you turn this different depths are then put in front of here so this can't go any lower and, and you can see that it'll turn clear around to, to here so this will this will turn all the way around and prevent that from going that's how um, that's how that works that's all right so the next step is really to now that I have this all uh, put together oh the other thing part of the install is to put a spacer in here this is the static end of the ram of the cylinder hydraulic cylinder and I had to put a spacer in here and I think it's just to keep this from walking over from the weight in the back lifting and lowering the weight of having this walk over and get this cylinder cockeyed and then causing it you know the ram to bend or something you know bending this so it's it's not a very um, strong spacer it's it's not like it's steel or anything it's just in there to keep 
to help keep this from moving around too much. So all in all, it's a pretty easy thing to install really. It didn't really take me that long it, and uh, I would have had it together already, but I I wanted to take the time to to make a video of it and show people on YouTube. But that's the, I guess you would maybe call that a rear rocker arm there. Um, I think this is interesting. These, both of these here, uh, you know, I guess a kind of a, first of all, it's, it's interesting that it's inside the, the hitch plate. It's actually inside, not on the outside. I I like that design because it keeps you from knocking your, your shins on it. Um, the other thing that's interesting is that there are two of them. So I think a fairly creative guy would maybe be able to come up with like a, you know, like a, maybe even like an old style three point hitch category zero or something that would hook onto both of these and come out here. Uh, the tiller, this is the subframe of the tiller and there's hooks on both sides here underneath this plastic wrap. These hook on to bolts on the underside of the frame that I mounted to hold the front end up. And back here, right here, are the where it hooks onto the back of the tractor, those bushings that I showed you from that rear rocker bar. Um, there's a pulley here that has a hydraulic pump on it. The PTO on the engine of the tractor that would you know, normally spin your, your blades on your mower deck spin this pulley which spin the hydraulic and it pumps the oil through those hoses and drives the tiller. The hydraulic oil supply is, is actually in the tiller. It's um, right here. So it, it pump, pumps oil out of the tank, back through the tiller to spin the tines. And um, so I'm kind of excited about getting it all together. There's the lift arm that goes up to the rocker, the rear rocker that I have installed that raises and lowers it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get the tractor back together, uh, figure out a way to get this. It's almost 300 pounds almost, I think, this tiller. Get it off of this garden cart that I got it on and onto the ground so I can ultimately hook it to the tractor. So the next video will be um, will be the tractor together and hopefully trying to hook this thing up.